as the Noonan Petroleum starting gate begins to roll into position and the Philly mares begin to line up in behind the gate. I'd like to give a shout out to our track crew. What a performance last race there by Dream Fair Zen Fire. They just have the track in incredible shape. Now let's send it over to Vance Cameron for the finale here. I'll second that motion too, Mr. Hughes. It's in incredible condition, this racetrack. All lined up. Outrageous spirit, Warwe Eula, Jen's credit, traces of purple. Grace Good Powwow, Jordy Soap, Colleen Finale. And it's finale time. The rough end pacing in at the rail. The leader getting out is Outrageous Spirit between horses, Warwe Eula. Traces of purple will be third as they round the turn. To get away, fourth, Jen's credit, fifth is Grace Good Powwow. Then it's Jordy Soap, six, trailing the field. Killeen Finale is seven, so along the back stretch they go. Driving up from the outside, War We Eula about to take over the lead for Jason Hughes. Here comes Traces of Purple. She'll keep them honest on the outside, second, third at the rail. That is Outrageous Spirit, 28 and three and a quarter. Fourth is Jen's credit, then fifth grade's good powwow. Jordy Shope in six, trailing the field. Colleen Finale seventh, off the turn they come. Traces of purple from the outside, about to clear the lead from our Campbell. Second is Warwe Eula. There goes Jen's credit, starting on the outside third, following the cover out fourth is Dre's Good Pow Wow. In at the rail, Outrageous Spirit fifth, on the outside sixth, that's Jordy Shope. Colleen Finale trails seventh, 57. And two for an opening half mile. They're arriving at five eight. Traces of purple, the leader to her outside. That's Jen's credit second. Warwe Eula on the rail third. Fourth on the outside to raise good powwow. In at the rail fifth. That is outrageous spirit. On the outside, Jordy's hope six. Colleen Finale at the rail seven. They're by three quarters. Traces of purple, the leader in one. 27 and 3. Racing second. That is Jen's credit. Three high. Dre's good powwow is coming late. In at the rail, War We Eula. They're homeward bound. Traces of purple, the leader. War We Eula. Dre's good powwow. Traces of purple to triple up. Mark Campbell. Dre's good powwow was second. War We Eula third. Time for the mile in one. 50. Seven and one. All right, we get a look at the replay here for the finale, and as I expected. Warwe, Yule, and Hughes, they pressed on for the front there early and then released the four traces of purple just past that quarter of 28 and three traces of purple led the rest of the way there, 57 and two, 127 and three, Jen's credit and Ryan Pro came first up here tonight and that's not her kind of trip and she faded late, but rallying off that second over cover was the five Dre's good powwow McPherson. They raced great here today to get up and get that deuce, but it's Trace of Purple getting the job done. Dre's good powwow second, and War We Eula, who left it well, gets rewarded with the show dough. And so we have a Mark Campbell late double here to close down Charlottetown. Traces of purple arriving at the 12th race winner's circle. Bay pacing mare six by Brandon's Cowboy. Off the Royal Majesty Dam Real Girly. 
Owned and trained by Robert Phillips of Belfast. The serving up triples on this Thursday night at the driving park. Mark Campbell joins that triple parade with his third winner on the night. Lamont 157-1. That's traces of purple in the nightcap. <laughs> 